Hey everyone, in this video we're preparing our um, income calculation, so how much we're earning over a set period of time. So the first thing we're going to look at is what you should have is a list of like details or um, identifying all those key things that you have in terms of your income. So again, it's going to be either an assumption or an observation, one of the two. Um, this person is 18 and so forth, the instructions are there. So that's what I'm basing this um, example off. So First thing I'm going to start off with is like your days. So we'll call this like weekly income. And then it's like your days, day, um, hours worked. And um, we are uh, penalty rate. So penalty. That's because they do the loading and um, hourly rate. And then earnings for per shift then it's going to be whoop, Monday and if we click on that if you do this with the green see how it's got like a little green square and it changes it to this black arrow Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday beautiful so my hours actually worked are uh, um, uh, Saturday Thursday, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 5.5. On Friday, there's none. Saturday, four hours. And on Sunday, there is three. So that's all they're doing. They have a penalty rate, which is on this one, it's one. This one here, it's 1 1.5. And this one here, it's double time. Um, if you're unsure and if you this, you're basing it on your own earnings, I would suggest that you check your worksheets, um, your times, like your pay sheets, sorry. Okay, so we're going to look at calculating the hourly rate. But how we do that is that I have, as usual, forgotten something. So I'm going to insert, so that's with the right click. Um, so I move my arrow, my mouse here, and I hit right click and I hit insert just for those that weren't too sure what I was doing. I'm going to put my hourly rate in and that's, 18.44 you know how I normally drill you guys about using units in Excel you have to kind of leave them out unless you format the cell to represent units so we can do that afterwards but for now we're going to leave the um, numbers without like dollars and um, your other units it just makes it easy for your Excel to do the calculations for you so what we're going to do is if this is the penalty rate essentially you need to um, this is your base salary you take that and you multiply it by your penalty rate and it'll give you the hourly rate. Then we're going to take that and multiply it by this. Now you can, yes, you could do it on your calculator and then put that into Excel and you're like, okay, I'm just setting this up as a table. But the one of the um, ISMG things that you need to be doing is effectively um, or an application of technology. And this would be an efficient use of technology because you're putting, you're letting it do the repetitive um, nature of these calculations. Uh, if you're doing this, make sure that you give your formulas too. So anyway, we digress. Um, equals, you really don't need to do it for this one, but for the intents and purposes of showing you this, um, it's beneficial. So the first thing I'm going to do is go B6, oops, sorry, B7 times, oh no, C7. My apologies, because we're taking the penalty rate and multiplying it by um, D3 which is that one there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this and I'm going to put a little dollar sign in front of each one of those parts. And what that tells Excel is don't change that. That is static because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. I'm going to drag it down. And what you'll see is that it takes then that number there, but it keeps this one. If I didn't put those dollar signs in, it will take this one and then it will take the next one for the following one for Sunday's pay. So I'm just going to, there we go. I mean, you can see now it's got the hourly rate here. So that's a time and a half and that's double time. So if you took that multiplied by two, lo and behold, you get 36.88. Now what we're going to do with these ones is you've worked out your earnings per shift. So it's going to be equals uh, B7 multiplied by D7. And that is the amount of money you earn per shift. Scroll that down. Obviously you don't need that one. Don't need that one you can't keep them there and you have your earnings per shift now um 
total equals that bothers me that it's not a capital so just fix that total and equals now if there's a function called sum which means and if you have a look it sometimes explains things to you as all the numbers in a set range of cells so you just need to let excel know which ones you want to add up so you can do that by dragging and dropping and then closing the bracket um, it's like a really particular on the syntax so how you set up your formulas uh, just like your calculator if you don't put those appropriate brackets in or too many brackets it'll say math error and it's the same thing with excel so you hit that and the amount is $322.70 per week. So what we can do here is that we can take these two, oh, these columns, I'm going to right click and format them so that they are in currency. There we go. And two decimal places. And there we are. So it looks like it's the appropriate units. And that is working out your weekly. So what we can do then is um, income at different intervals I'll have my weekly uh, fortnightly monthly and yearly so what we do is we take the value so I'm just gonna um, equals 300 oh, I'll do that 322.7 and what I'm going to do with my fortnightly is equals uh, B14 times 2. And again, changing that so it's static. And I'm going to just drag that down for a moment. And I'm going to update these. So for yearly, it's 52 because it's 52 weeks in a year. And for monthly now, don't get caught out. Um, we like to assume that there's four months in a year. I mean, sorry, four months, <laughs> four months in a year, four weeks in a month. However, if you based on that principle, four weeks in a month, 12 months in a year, four times 12 is 48. You're missing then the other four weeks that would make up the 52. So the best thing that you can do is take this number, times it by 52, then divide by 12. But wait, miss, what about your brackets and stuff? Sure, you can do that. You take that, put some brackets around it if you really want. And it'll be a okay. There you go, same answer. Um, and that's what you have. Estimated, so I'm just changing them to dollars. Your estimated um, or projected income. So from there, you could potentially consider whether or not you have to pay tax um, from that income. And um, yeah, that is one part of your assignment completed or inspired. Right on. Um, stay awesome.